Hi, I'm Dan from RealMac Software, and today we're going to continue looking at how to build a website with RapidWeaver, Stacks, and the Foundry um, collection of Stacks. Yesterday, we basically put together uh, the main page you can see now, put together a menu system header, got some basic content and a, a footer. Um, still early days yet in the site, but we're going to take a little look at how we might lay out some content. Uh, so let's head back to edit mode, uh, and I'm going to get rid of going to get rid of this um, this dummy content we had here. And let's go to our stacks. We've got the foundry stacks here. I'm going to drop in a container, um, and let's just flip over and refer back to the Rapid Weaver site because we're going to do um, we're going to take some of this and see how we would rebuild it with Foundry two. Um, right. So let's let's start with this header section here. Uh, we are going to need um, we're going to need an image for the icon. And we're going to need a header and where's the text and some text under there and probably a little bit more here and uh, I think there was also a button that we need uh, going to pop that uh, is it under there uh, right let's preview that so uh, if I flip back over there yeah, so we've got, um, we're basically remaking this. Uh, we've got the sections. We just, uh, oh, maybe it's not, not quite right. Uh, but anyway, let's get started. Let's start filling this out with the actual, um, with the real content. Uh, we're going to use our app either 8 icon. Uh, let's pop that in there. Um, and we got, let's, uh, let's grab this header text here. Um, and I think we actually want to use a paragraph, not a header here. Um, well, that's what I'm going to do anyway, because uh, we can customize the size of this, because that's still going to be, uh, that is still too big. So what we're going to, uh, the text is too small, sorry. Uh, let's increase this. Let's try 18. Um, preview that. Yeah, not bad uh, and powerful. Let's uh, powerful and easy to use. <coughs> Let's have a look. Uh, powerful and let's easy to use. Let's bolden those and see how that looks. Uh, where's uh, there we are. Uh, Okay, let's go large on that 24. Hmm. I mean, maybe, maybe, let's have a look. Let's uh, let's actually look at doing this in a header. Um, let's see, and let's go to small, uh, center. Uh, I'm going to switch the typeface here. Let's see what. Mm, and lower the font weight. Ah, here we are. Okay, that's that's looking better. That's looking a lot nicer. Um, and because this is a heading, it doesn't have the styling controls. So what I'm going to do here, uh, we're going to use a little bit of HTML. Uh, and this is one of the beauties of Rapid Weaver. You can mix and match between kind of a WYSIWYG editor and just, you know, throwing in the odd tag or bits of HTML that you need. Um, let's have a look at that. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to do the same for easy to use. Easy to use. Good. Uh, that's looking good. Let's look at our reference there. Uh, yeah. And clearly we've got the icon in the wrong place. Um, yeah, although things are not looking si uh, correctly sized yet, uh, things are starting to shape up. Let's see, we've got the button here. Let's do that download Rapid Weaver. And 
let's see we want that centered um, and we'll do a custom let's do a custom gradient uh, top color let's let's go with the pen and then the bottom color let's go slightly darker that might be a bit too dark uh, there we are nice little gradient on there let's have a little preview of that yeah need to customize the rollover color there as well um, and what I tend to do is I pick the same colors and then just go slightly darker with them um, on this so hopefully the rollover color now will just yeah the button gets slightly darker to give you an indication that it's that it's clickable very good um, what else let's take some of this text under here uh, pop it in the paragraph um, we want that to be we want that to be centered um, but we also need it to be a little bit smaller and uh, let's change the color as well color picker uh, yeah let's check that yeah not bad um, we need to space out the button let's give that a bit of padding uh, what do we think 10 maybe maybe a bit more yeah that's not bad uh, so we've still got this whacking great icon let's get that down to size as well um, max width let's have a look two five six maybe mm, one hundred and twenty-eight yeah that's not bad and let's get some padding on this as well to give it a bit of a bit of breathing space yep uh, let's compare that looks pretty good I mean I've, I've left out these extra little details but they're you know quite easy to put in you can we could easily do that um, I mean maybe we'll let's increase the space here a little bit because that's a bit a bit cramped up to the top um, you know I think that's that's looking pretty good uh, put that on a second line yeah I'm quite happy with that right let's uh, let's go on to the second section let's try and build up this uh, this here so I'm gonna go for a container um, I want to change the background color of that background here I think yep 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 um, and, and that's not a bad color either a bit brighter but we can always tweak the color later um, I often find it's good just to just to get things into the site and then you can kind of tweak the sizing and how and how things look you know once you've got everything in place uh, let's take that quicker than me retyping it um, and I think we're gonna get I don't know we're gonna want that bold so I'm gonna use that same little cheeky HTML trick uh, to make that bold there um, we're gonna want, let's match it up to the heading up there going to want to center it and we're going to want to change the color uh, white um, yeah let's, uh, let's and lower the 300 I think that's what the top one was yeah that looks that looks pretty good and same on the text uh, we'll make that white and let's just check on our oops let's copy that 
throw that in there. Uh, let's see. Very nice. Um, padding. Got to put the spacing. Oh no, hang on a minute. We don't want to put the spacing there. Let's actually, we want it on the container because um, I want some space down here and up here. And not rounded corners, padding. Uh, let's see, 50 and 50. Yep, that's looking that's looking pretty good. Uh, right, let's get the image. Uh, I have these already. I've put them in the. I have a little resources folder here with the stuff that I need. There we are. Let's let's put this in. Um, preview that. That's looking pretty good. Uh, scan and a bit of text at the bottom there. Let's just pop that in. I'm going to remove that because that doesn't look that good. Um, and let's uh, let's make that a link. Uh, I'll just put a hash in for the moment. Just um, it doesn't go anywhere, but we can fill that in later just to give us a look. Now uh, you'll see um, it's also using the theme's default styling, uh, which is set. Which is which is all set in here, um, but because this is like a little blue custom section, what we can do is we can actually override um, override the style there. I think if we switch it to color pickers, yeah, we get the link uh, options. So I actually want that to be yellow. Uh, yeah, kind of that yellow, and then on hover we'll go. Uh, what else should we do? We could actually go white on hover. Um, there, let's have a look at that. Yeah, nice. That's that is looking pretty good. Um, there are some other fun things in uh, in Foundry that we could have done, especially in Foundry Two. I don't think these were these were in the first one. Uh, there's this thing called mask. Um, and if I drop that in, this will allow you to add, uh, rather than having a straight topped section, you can add um, a style to it. So if I go for, for like, uh, let's go pointing down, and I preview that, uh, it gives us this nice uh, little, well, indent. Uh, and the, these things are quite popular now. Um, Point up, point down, what should we do? Let's do point down. Um, you know, adds a bit more interest. So we could put all this into uh, something like this, um, which would be quite nice, you know. Uh, <clears throat> let's have a look at another one. Uh, what else have we got? Got a curve. Got a curve there. And of course you can, uh, let's, let's put the, the uh, point point down. Uh, you can adjust these. Um, so the point location that's moving it around. Can I? Yeah, let's put that back to five hundred. Uh, and the height of the point uh, seventy five is quite a lot. Let's go down to fifty, and we'll do the same on the top one. Fifty. Um, let's have a look. I see, and this is the mask background, so this is the color it's using. So um, you can see there, and I think it's uh, yeah, I think it's using it on all the on all the breakpoints. Ah, because it's inheriting the uh, whatever we set as as the top one here. So if we pick a custom and we'll go, uh, let's pick the same color there. Uh, then what we can do is we could drop our content up here. Um, whoops, bit fiddly sometimes. Let's drop this. Yep, yeah, we'll take that and that uh, and that. And 
let's get rid of our straight section ah yeah very nice uh, so that uh, looks pretty cool uh, so we've actually gone and improved uh, what we you know from the actual live real max site because I actually prefer this point down let's drop that down a little bit 30 and 30 there let's have a look at that yeah that's pretty good um, there are some other nice things in here let's have a quick uh, a text mask is pretty cool um, now I'm not using this in the site um, yet uh, but uh, what we need to do is let's let's um, let's go to unsplash and get a nice uh, theme a nice theme a nice image uh, let's get some mountains always good uh, let's drop drop that into there and then you'll see the effect so it does uh, well like it says the text uh, a text mask which is which is which is pretty cool I think it'd be good for a um, for a heading to, to use this uh, so let's move actually let's let's move this under here uh, and I think we'll come back to that and possibly use that use that later uh, that looks pretty cool and um, yeah there's also this animation stack which is quite fun um, let's uh, which I'm going to put the button in here and you can kind of use this as a way to draw attention to um, uh, to something in your page oh, there we are yeah so oh, you might have caught that this rubber band and we'll put a delay on it so it doesn't start straight away um, yeah there we go uh, let's have a look swing so you can play around with these effects and see uh, today is quite a good one yeah so that kind of draws attention to the uh, well to any element in your in your site really uh, so that's another handy little little tip there um, let's see right uh, so I think that's that's looking pretty good right now uh, and what I might do is uh, we might just publish this um, ah that is because uh, let's go to our publishing settings um, it's asking for the web address so let's put that in there uh, go back home right let's publish that uh, so this is going up to the realmax software server uh, it's just in the demo folder and that looks like that's successfully published um, we'll use Chrome let's have a look uh, yeah so there's our so there's our live web page um, and you can go and visit that to check out how things are looking and um, as we go through this tutorial tutorial series uh, this will be the URL we'll publish the site to all right I think that about wraps it up for now um, we'll come back to this page and we'll continue to flesh it out add some more content fix up the uh, the footer and get everything looking good all right thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one